Hello, my dear students. Today, we are going to present the chemistry program for general secondary certificate. We are going to introduce the first episode, which is talking about chapter one, which is transition elements. We are going to discuss today the revision on the long firm periodic table, and we are going to discuss the first transition series and the comparison between this series and the other series. And we are going to discuss the elements of the first transition series, their properties and uses. So let us start. We are going to discuss now the transition elements. We are going to discuss the revision on the long form periodic table. My dear students, we know from the previous years that the periodic table consists of 18 vertical groups and seven horizontal periods. And the elements of the same group, these elements have the same valence electrons and so they have similar chemical properties. The elements of the same period in the periodic table have the same number of energy levels. The blocks of the elements of the periodic table. As shown on the screen, we have S block elements in the left side and B block elements in the right side and D block elements in the middle and F block elements below, placed below the table. The S block elements, these contain two groups as filling the S sub level from one to two electrons and B block elements contains six group as filling the B sub level from one electron till six electrons and the D block elements, we filling the D sub level from one electron till 10 electrons. So contain 10 columns and the F block elements which come from the 6th and 7th period as we studied last year. So, my dear student, if you look at the tip of the periodic table that will be shown now on the screen, we find that the S block elements in the left side and B block elements in the right side and D block elements in the middle and F block elements below the periodic table. Now we are going to discuss the types of elements of the long form periodic table. The elements where electronic configuration end by Ns from 1 to 2 electrons and Nb from 1 till 5 electrons, we call these elements representative elements or main group elements. My dear student, notice that the elements where the electronic configuration end by Nb6 and L helium, which has atomic number 2, which is electronic configuration 1s2, we find that these elements are called inert gases or noble gases. My dear student, the element which their electronic configuration end by Nd from 1 to 10 and Nf from 1 till 14, we call these kind of elements the R transition elements. My dear students, these transition elements are divided into two types, main transition elements and inner transition elements. My dear student, notice that. The transition elements that include more than 60 elements are more than the half of the number of the known elements in the periodic table. As shown on the table here, the representative elements are the left and right side S and B block. And when B contains six electron and the helium one S2 is inert gas and in the middle of the periodic table, they are main transition elements, which are D block elements, and below the table, the F block elements, which are called inner transition elements. 
My dear student, we are going to discuss the main transition elements in this year in details. The main transition elements, the outermost electrons are n, d, which where n means the principal quantum number, which from 3 to 6, as shown in the picture, 3d1 till 10, 4d1 till 10, 5d from 1 to 10, and 6d from 1 to 10 electrons. These are the elements of the main transition elements, which are divided into four series, where each series filling the sublevel D when maybe 3D or 4D or 5D or 6D as shown on the screen. My dear student, as the D sublevel is filled by 10 electrons, as we know the D sublevel contains five orbitals. And this orbital filled by 10 electron as each orbital is filled by 2. So 5 orbitals times 2 electron will be 10 electrons. So D block has 10 columns as shown on the screen. The electronic configuration of the main transition elements must end with N S2 and N minus 1 D from 1 to 10. As shown on the screen, for S, 3D in the fourth period, and in the fifth period, 5S, 4D, and in the sixth period, 6S, 5D, and in the seventh period, 7S and 6D. Now we are going to discuss the group of main transition, transition elements. They are 10 columns, as we said before, and these 10 columns are divided into 8 groups only, as 7 columns for B groups and 3 columns belong to group 8, which is V triple I. As shown on the screen, group 3B, where D sublevel is filled by one electron, maybe 3D or 4D or 5D or 6D, and second column group 4B, where D contains two electrons. And we are going to fill the D sublevel by 10 electrons, will be in the groups 5B, 6B, 7B, and three columns for group 8, and 1B and 2B. My dear student, we have given reason in this point. Group 8 contains three columns. The reason for that is the similarities between the horizontal elements are more than the similarities between their vertical elements. My dear students, the main transition elements that we are going to discuss today are classified according to the number of the outer energy level and according to the period giving four series which are first transition series. In the first transition series, as shown on the screen, we find that the outermost electrons are filled in the 3D sublevel. And they are located in the fourth period. And the elements are from scandium to zinc, which scandium has atomic number 21 and zinc atomic number 30. The second transition series, as shown on the screen, we find that their outermost electrons are filled in the 4D sublevel, and they are located in the fifth period. And the elements started from Deuterium has atomic number 39 till cadmium has atomic number 48. The third transition series, as shown on the screen, we find that their outermost electrons are filled in the 5D sublevel and they are located in the sixth period as shown on the screen. 
And these elements are started from lanthanum, atomic number 57, till mercury, which atomic number is 80, as shown on the screen. The fourth transition series that are shown on the screen, these elements, outermost electrons, are filled in the 6D sublevel. And they are located in the seventh period. And my dear student, we are going, we are going to discuss the first transition series in details. My dear student, the weight percentage of each element in the first transition series in the Earth's crust, as shown on the screen, scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc. <coughs> as shown on the screen, these elements, my dear student, the iron has the greatest percentage among these elements in the periodic table. The first transition series, my dear students, form less than 7% of the weight of the Earth's crust. Not all the main transition elements, the first transition element only. They are located in the fourth period. Their outermost electrons are filled in the 3D sublevel. Now, my dear students, we are going to discuss the properties and the economic importance of the elements of the first transition series. So the element and its properties and its uses. Scandium is rarely found in the Earth's crust. The second point, alloys of scandium with aluminium is used in MiG fighter jets, and we have given reason for this point. The reason, because it is less dense and hard. Also, scandium is used in TV photography at night, or it is added to mercury vapor lamps, and we have given reason for this point, that it produces light which has high quality looks like sunlight. The second element, which is titanium, which is a strong element with rigidity as steel but less dense as the following animation will show. My dear students, we are going to show the strength of titanium by using three different tubes. One is made of carbon fiber, and one is made of aluminum foil, and one is made of titanium. And we are going to see the rigidity of the titanium by moving the car over these tubes. We find that on moving on carbon fiber, here the uh, tube is going to bend, which means it is not hard. And then we are going to use the aluminum tube, we are going to show how the rigidity of aluminum tube here when the car moves it also bent that it's low rigidity and we are going to use titanium tube to show its rigidity when the car moves on it. As shown on the screen, my dear student, the car is going to move over the tube is made of titanium, enhanced titanium. We find the tube has not changed, which means has greater rigidity. My dear student, the second point for using of titanium, its alloy with aluminum is used in the space shuttle and the body of rockets and aircraft. And we have give reason for this point. The reason for that is because it maintains its durability at high temperature while the hardness of aluminum decreases. The third point, which is the use of titanium itself, it is used in dental implants and artificial joints. 
and we have give reason for this point, we find that it is inert substance, so the body doesn't eject it and doesn't cause any type of poisoning. And the point for using titanium compound, which is titanium dioxide, is used in sun protection cosmetics, and we have give reason for this point. The reason for that, my dear student, because its nanoparticle prevent ultraviolet light to reach the skin. The next element, which is vanadium, the vanadium steel alloy is used in car spring, and we have give reason for this point because the vanadium gives the steel hardness and corrosion resistance. Next point, the vanadium pentoxide, which is compound of vanadium, this has the following uses. It is used in the manufacture of dyes, used in ceramic and glass industry, and also it is used as catalyst in the industry of sulfuric acid by contact process. And also it is used in the manufacture of a strong magnetic conductor. The next element, which is chromium, it is highly reactive element, but it resists the effects of air. And we have give reason for this point, which is very important, because it forms non-porous layer of its oxide on the metal surface where its molecules are larger in size than the metal molecules that prevent more reaction with air, which is called passivity or chemical inactivity. The next point for property and uses for chromium, it is used in plating metals and leather tanning. Also, it's compound, which is called potassium dichromate, K2Cr2O7, is used as oxidizing agent. And chromium oxide, which is used in the manufacture of dyes. Next element we are going to discuss is manganese. It is not used as pure metal. And we have give reason for this point. So we can say the manganese is not used as pure metal because it is brittle. And also, my dear student, it is used in form of alloys or compounds, such as ferro-manganese alloy is used in railway track. And we have give reason for this point. Because it is harder than steel. And its alloy with aluminum is used in the manufacture of cans. And we have give reason for this point. Alloy of aluminum and manganese are used in the manufacture of cans. And the reason for that, it resists the corrosion. The next point, the manganese dioxide is a strong oxidizing agent in dry cells. And its potassium permanganate compound is used as oxidizing agent. And also has another use for potassium permanganate. It is used in washing fruits and the vegetable because it is antiseptic. The manganese sulfate, another compound, is used as fungicide. As shown on the screen, next element, which is iron, it is used in the electricity pylons, knives, reinforced concrete, in engineering, and guns, and cannons, pipes, and in military application, we use these guns and the cannons, and the, in medical application, we use the iron in surgical tools. My dear student, iron is used as catalyst in the industrial preparation of ammonia gas by harbor push process. And also it is used as catalyst to convert water gas, 
which is mixture of carbon monoxide and the hydrogen to liquid hydrocarbons fuel by fischer trubisch process. Next element is cobalt is used in the manufacture of magnets. And we have good reason for this point because it can be magnetized as iron. And another use for cobalt it is used in the manufacture of modern dry batteries that used in cars. It has 12 radioactive isotopes. And the most important isotope is cobalt-60, which is used in the preservation of food and also in the detection of quality of industrial products and detecting cracks and welding connection. And this point has good reason. We can say the reason is to because it emits gamma rays that have high penetrating power. Next point, it is used in medicine as detecting and treating tumors. And next element, which is nickel, it is used in the manufacture of nickel cadmium battery that can be recharged. And the alloy of nickel and steel characterized by hardness and resist rust and the effect of acids. The next use for nickel, its alloy with chromium is used in the manufacture of heating coil and the electric furnace. And we have good reason for this point. Because it resists the corrosion when they are heated to red hot degree. It is used in painting metals and we have good reason for this point because it gives better appearance and also resist rust. And the next point for use of nickel, finally divided nickel is used as catalyst as in the hydrogen. Copper. Copper is the first discovered metal. Its alloy of copper with tin is called bronze. It is used in electric wires and equipments. And we have give reason for this point. Because it has high electric conductivity. And the next point, it is used in the manufacture of coin alloys. And its compound copper sulfate is used as insecticide and fungicide in purifying drinking water. And also failing solution, which is copper compound, is used to detect glucose sugar. And we have good reason for this point because its color changes from blue to orange. Zinc, which is used in galvanizing that coating metals by zinc, we have good reason for this point because it protects them from rust. Next point here, zinc oxide is used in the manufacture of paints, rubber, and cosmetics. My dear student, zinc sulfide is used in the manufacture of illuminating paints and x-ray screens. Now, my dear students, we are going to discuss some questions on the first episode. Choose the correct answer. The element in which the outer levels have the electronic configuration 4F14, 5D1, 6S2 is from what kind of transition series? If you think about the answer among these choices, first or fourth or second or inner, if you think about it, yes, it will be inner transition series, which is from lanthanide series. Next point, the element in which the outer levels have the electronic configuration 4F14, 5D2, 6S2 is from what kind of transition series? Is it third, inner actinides, 
second inner lanthanides if you think about the answer my dear student yes it will be third transition series next point the element in which is strong as steel but less dense is it scandium titanium iron and zinc if you think about it yes it will be titanium next question element we use in plating metals and leather tanning is it chromium scandium iron zinc if you think about it my dear student yes it will be chromium next point element which is rarely found in earth's crust and it is maybe cobalt or copper or iron or scandium if you think about it my dear student yes it will be scandium next point element which we use in tv photography at night is what is it scandium titanium iron zinc if you think about it my dear student you will find the answer is scandium next point the alloy which is used in manufacture of mig fighter jets made of what vanadium and manganese scandium and silicon titanium with aluminium scandium with aluminium if you think about it my dear student you will find the answer is scandium with aluminium next point element which is highly reactive but resists the effect of air is it what is it scandium iron chromium zinc if you think about it my dear student you will find the answer is chromium next point element which is used in the reinforced concrete and electricity pylons what is this element is it scandium iron chromium zinc if you think about it my dear student it will be iron next point the alloy which resists rust and the effect of acids made of what is it nickel and steel vanadium and manganese scandium and iron zinc and titanium if you think about it my dear student yes it will be nickel and steel next point the alloy which is used in the manufacture of space shuttle made of what is it vanadium and manganese titanium with aluminium scandium with aluminium zinc and titanium if you think about it yes it will be titanium with aluminium my dear students we have reached the end of our program today i hope you understood all the points and the questions that we discussed today so Till we meet again, my best wishes for you.